Guys, we are back at Free Code Camp, and we are doing HTML and CSS exercises 31 to 40. So, um, add a submit button to a form. Very important stuff. Forms, pretty cool stuff. Apparently, we already did that one. So, let's go ahead and check that one. So, that was... Sorry guys, I want to make sure I'm on the right one. Let's see here. So, all right, 32. Cool. So one. I'd, I'm only trying to do them in uh, sets of 10. So yeah. So your text input element should have the required attribute. So where do we want to put that? So we have input type, and then we want to put required here. And that should that should make it so that you have to have that in there. All right, so that's two. Uh, your page should have two radio button elements. So how do we create radio, radio buttons? We have input type is equal to radio label. So do you want a label? There. All right. So. Uh, I guess we'll put it at the bottom of the form. So we want to have input type is equal to radio. I'll just slash the input. Sorry uh, if it's all the way at the bottom here, guys. Okay, so. Oh, actually, there's no slash for this. Excuse me. What am I doing? So I have input type radio. If we run that, if we do this twice, we should get, this isn't gonna do anything right now, but look, we should, we'll knock that out. Cool, the name attribute is indoor, outdoor. So how do we do uh, that? We just set the name equal to indoor dash out door so now when we refer to it uh, as parameter type we can get it there so let's go ahead and run that indoor dash outdoor name equals It just should be nested in its own label element. Okay, maybe we need to do a label. So let's see if our label element is messing up why it's not saying that our radio buttons are named property, properly. So let's make these labels. And slash label. Make sure each label element has closing tags on the radio it should have a label indoor. Oh. So we'll say this one is indoor, and this one is outdoor. And you can see right here, indoor, outdoor. So let's go ahead, save and submit, and bam, there we go. So we got our indoor and we got our outdoor. Cleo. All right, so your page should have three checkbox elements. So if we wanted to just kind of copy and paste, so we like those sort of things. Um, let's do it above the radio button. So the page should have three checkbox elements. All right, so here's one as a label. It's called loving. Uh, each of the checkbox elements should be nested in its own label element. Make sure each of the label element has a closing tag. Give your checkboxes the name attribute of personality. So. Let's see here. Let's see if we can just put three of these in here. So here's our label loving. It's an input type of checkbox and name personality. So let's see here. Cool. So you can see right here, they're all the same right now, but they're getting the input. Their, na their name personality, the data, if you want to look at it that way, and the 
uh, label is on the, is the word here. So yeah, your first radio button on your form should be checked by default. How do we do that? And we just put checked. So radio button is one of these, and we'll say indoor right here. And all we have to do is put the checked in there. And you can see right there. Checkbox. So that was energetic. And we just put check there as well. Hmm. Well, it is checked. But let's, for the sake of argument, create a couple more of these. Um, take out that, take out that. We don't want those to be checked. So apparently we're get running into an issue here. First checkbox on your form should be checked. It is. So let's remove this and see if it fixes the other one. It doesn't. So we'll create an input time. Just let's see if this changes anything. Oh, those aren't our, my first. I see what's going on. I made a mistake. So you can see right here, these are. this is the first uh, checkbox. Checked, and I think that's five. Let me check real quick. So you can click here, HTML, CSS. Yep, so we're on 36. Not too bad. So uh, mini, nest mini elements within a single div element. So nest your P element inside your div element. So here's our P. And we're going to test this right away because I want to see if that's all they wanted. So that's your P element inside your, so all the P's. Let's see, there we go. So we just wanted to, we could have created a bunch of divs and we probably should to be honest, but what we also could do is just group this in a div and leave this one alone. So that's what we did here. All right. 37. So give your div element the class gray background. So uh, you can see where's our div. So we want to give this the class is equal to gray dash background. So, but we didn't set anything here. So what do we have to do? Um, in our style, we have to say gray dash background. And what do we want? We want to set the background dash color to gray. Let's see if gray is a word. And there you go. You can see right there that it's working. Cool, I believe we're in 38. Give your form element the ID of cat photo form. So, uh, it looks like we want to give it an ID and it's going to be equal to cat dash photo dash form. There we go, so we have an ID. Not sure if we did it, so that's 39. We're in our last two. So your form element should have the background color of green. So we gave an ID of cat photo form. Uh, well, well let's, let's try this. Let's, we'll say uh, form, we'll say for the element form, background, dash color green there you go our form is now green we're good to go 
and our last one right now for our first 10. And we're, we're doing pretty okay. We're at 10 minutes right now, so we're doing about one a minute. So your green box class should give elements 20 times padding. So um, we just want to change the padding on here. Padding is the space you give an element. So like right here, you'll see it went up. So let's just change this to 100. And you can see it's massive now, or that's 1,000, 100, 10, 20. Cool. So that was exercises 31 to 40, I believe. And in the next video, we will continue on the HTML and CSS. It's about a three hour course, according to this. And it looks like we're going to be messing with elements. And we're already halfway there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I just want to say thanks for um, the likes and the comments, letting me know if I'm doing good. I'm learning. Um, hopefully you're learning still. This is a field we all need to be learning in. And if I'm ever if I ever misrepresent something, because I'm like I said, I'm learning. Let me know. And if the videos you find them helpful, let me know. That that really um, goes a long way. So I'll see you guys as always in the next video.